Hi, everybody. My name is Melody Ann Johnson, and I am the newest member of my family. And I was lucky enough to be chosen to be the host of the Dollhouse Tour. My mom just redesigned and moved the whole dollhouse, so it's really new. And I'm going to give you all a tour. Let's get started. So first, I'm going to start with the living room because it's the main part of the house. Now, let's take a look at the dining area. So first, we have the current dining set. To personalize it, we have just um, a little hat with some flowers from the American Girl Cafe and a couple of cups and some breakfast foods laid out. And hanging on the wall, we have um, a picture Sage and I painted, which you can see being made on Sage's first paint, which is a photo shoot I have uploaded. Over here, we have a homemade fridge that I made out of a shoe box. So I covered the Nike box in white paper and bordered it with glitter and I used a pipe cleaner as the handle. I also had to glue a mini Lego box under for extra support. Inside, I took some more cardboard and I glued some shelves into it and I have just a bunch of different varieties of foods. And at the bottom, we have a little drink section or places for, well, larger meals. Over in the center of the room, we have Sage's painting set, just to give it more of a personality. Now, let's take a look at the other half of the room. For a living room, of course, first you have to have seating. So we took Kanani's lounge chair and divided it into two to provide more seats. Then, looking over to the side, we find Julie's accessories. So here we have Julie's accessories, and we changed up the design a little bit to try something new. But overall, everything's still the same here. Also, this used to be the home, one of the first homes for Rachel when I didn't have any other dolls. So we have two posters up that I used to have up when I had a dollhouse here before. And you would probably think why not take these off, but it's actually pretty interesting because, um, as you can see, there are tears in it which just look really cool. And they kind of bring out the character in the home. So, I think that's pretty interesting. Now, it's almost like a divisor for the two rooms. But, we have our storage tower with our salon chair right here. Just, you know, because. <laughs> <laughs> now, let's take a look at the bedroom part of our house. So, the first bed you'll see when you walk in is Kanani's bed. I don't know if you realize, but Kanani and Rachel used to share a bed. But we did a little adjustment and we took Rachel's bed out and we moved it somewhere else. So now this is going to be used for mini doll box storage. Now we have the lost Rachel's bed. <laughs> this is the bottom half of the dreamy day bed. And we just added an extra blanket because there was no more, no more bedding to it. And this just has a couple of things that Rachel loves, like her Hello Kitty elephant from New York and her Amer mini American Girl doll, Samantha. Like always, with a dreamy day bed, you have to have the matching dreamy day bed nightstand. So in between Rachel and Kanali's bed, that's what we have. On their nightstand, they place a few personal items, like Kanali's Lego friends, um, their stitch, Panda, Shell, and, of course, Rachel's makeup. Next, you're going to see a tremendous bed, and this is one you're going to want to look into. Now, some people say with American Girl boxes you can make a twin bed, but we made a triple bed. On the bottom row, we have Mary Grace's bed with a pillow and her nightgown. Very simple like herself. Moving up to the second bed, we have Julie's bed, which is fun and creative. She has a picture she drew and a movie ticket hung up on her wall. 
and her beautiful doll Felicity and her kitty cat pillow with her teddy bear. Now to the third and final bed, we have Sage's bed, the queen of the world. She has her little teddy bear and some western pillows with a movie ticket as well. Over in between the beds, we have a little bedside table that used to be used for a kitchen. And we keep a couple of cute little things like a mini alarm clock, picture frame, rubber duckies, and a couple of things just to personalize it. So lastly, we have my bed, Melody. And this is a bed from Ikea, which works perfectly for American Girl dolls. And I don't know if you can tell, but under my bed, we use it for storage space. And under my bed, we store all our shoes. And it's perfect use. Finally, we have the bathroom. First, we have a shower inspired by a My Froggy Stuff video. we used a coaster, which is like a placemat for drinks. Then on the opposite side of the shower, we have some Hello Kitty drawers that we got from New York City, which just holds their bracelets, necklaces, and any other really, just any other hair clips. Well, everybody, that's the end of our tour. So comment down below and tell me which was your favorite part of the house and if you have any questions, comment down below also. Bye, and thanks for watching.